I recently came across a block deal. I got these for 50 cents each. There are a lot more that I can take, but I only took this many at first. And they're pretty old and used. And I can, you know, kind of chip them apart with my thumb. Like, they're still pretty solid. But it's easier to chip off the edges than preferable. So I don't know if I want to buy a whole bunch of them. First, I'm going to see if I can re strongify them. I'm thinking maybe if I take a bucket, oh, like this bucket right here, fill it halfway with soupy cement, and then dunk these bricks into it. Maybe they'll be strong then. Uh, and these were also pretty close by, so that definitely adds to the value of them. That's half a bucket of water and uh, like half a shovel of cement. I guess I'll wait a few days and see if there's a difference. Probably within three days I should be able to tell if those ones are stronger than these ones. Well, it's been about a week now. Man, I cannot chip the edges off those anymore. Yeah, those seem pretty strong. Compared to these un... Ooh. It just comes right off. Yeah. So, it's not too much effort to turn that into this. So I think I'll go get the rest of the bricks. Or at least, let me see how many I can fit in the boat today. Well, the tide is high. And I got an empty front of a boat. Alright, let's go do it. Uh, I think I need to clean off the bottom of this boat too. Alright, that'll only take like 15 minutes. Probably save me 15 minutes travel time. Okay. Boat's mostly clear. I can't even talk. I'm getting tired. Boat's mostly cleared off. I dropped my spatula in the middle of the deepest part of the canal here. I almost lost it, but I swam straight down and got that sucker. I should attach a float or something. I helped a friend move yesterday, which is why the front of the boat's all cleared off. I did not clean the boat yesterday which is why it was such a mess today and it is going so much faster now oh so nice I'm only at like half throttle oh yeah maybe three quarter throttle all right not the easiest loading situation it gets too shallow up here good thing i have parking poles so i can lock the boat in place all right
Alright, I got 40 of them on there. I was starting to touch the bottom. So I figure I better take off. I don't want these that much. I'll come back and get some more later. Alright, I'm gonna try to block the microphone while I'm talking here. Uh, I just went to visit the guy's house to pay him. Uh, and he's like, oh, you can fit more on your boat. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm touching the bottom. So, you know, I'm just going to take this for now. And this is all in Spanish, of course. And he's like, cuando regresar por mas? You know, when are you coming back for more? And I was like, ah, when I have time. And then I was like, uh, but if you want to bring them to my house, I'll, I'll take them anytime if you want to, if you want the money sooner. And he's like, oh, todo bien, todo bien, tranquilo. You know, no, no, everything's cool. <laughs> You know, I haven't driven the shark slicer in a couple weeks, and it's easy to forget. This boat is awesome. I love this boat. Ah, it's so good. All right, I guess I'll dip these in cement water. Still have to do that pile there, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I have other things I need to do, like going to dig. Oh, my life is digging right now. More digging. I gotta.